Hey guys, so in the last episode, if I'm remembering correctly, it was a very long episode and we ended it by killing the fool's idol and we got placed in world 3-2 by those gargoyles. However, I left there, uh, we got the the doll demon's soul and I have just started the game up again and committed suicide so as to avoid any problems with world tendency. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to head to World 4-1, the Archstone of the Shadow Men, to the Shrine of Storms. Now, there's no particular reason for me to have come to this world, uh, but I, I think I may as well show you the rest of it. You know, I showed, I showed what it was like, and then I just sort of left. And that, that wasn't right, was it? I shouldn't have done that. But we needed to get the items. Uh, but anyway. Whatever I've just been saying. Let's try and forget that. Because, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy guy. I, I, for some reason, I've completely forgotten what I was supposed to say. Oh yeah, so we're going to finish this... We're going to finish this world off. We're going to do what we should have done a long time ago. What the fuck? Get the hell away from me, skeleton. Give me that blade stone. Okay, so unlike last time we were here, we're not going to be getting double teamed by any dirty skeletons. We're I mean, getting them one on one. Making them fight us like men, or what used to be men. Taking off a good chunk of their health with the supu su <laughs> superb, the superb, I can't say that word properly, the superb sticky compound longbow. And then finishing them off with the spear. Spear, well with all thrusting weapons are actually quite weak against these guys. Uh, so that is something to bear in mind if, you know, unless it's quite upgraded like mine is. I mean, I could probably complete the game with this uh, spear and shield combo now. In fact, my first playthrough, I did actually complete the game with a swinged spear plus seven. And also a purple flame shield. Where were you going to go? then, where did you think you could go? And this is actually something a bit interesting we're going to do. We're going to head back down the stairs. Uh, this level is sort of a complicated place. Well, it's not complicated. There are just, it's just a, a really good shortcut that we're going to be able to take. Uh, but first, this is the vanguard. This is the douchebag that killed us earlier. Not earlier, really. What the hell? Well, that's, that's not right, is it? There we go. And the vanguard. <laughs> he won't really move out of this. You see, he's blocking a corridor here. But he won't really move away from it. So you can take full advantage of that, get your bow and arrow out, and just start pegging him right in the face, and the mouth, and the stomach, and let's get one in each arm. I missed that, but never mind. And you can finish him off, well both start and finish him off very easily by doing this. So simple. And, I mean, I'm doing a lot of damage with these arrows. 100, shit. Damage per hit. I'll explain what that was in a second, for those of you who don't know. But for those of you who do know, know that I was just very careless then. And probably shouldn't have gotten hit. But I will say, in my defense, that the audio is slightly delayed. Uh, because I have to listen to this through my through my laptop, which is via the recording. Uh, 
and that means that when they make their noise to attack, I can't really hear it. No drops there. Oh, there was a drop. Yes. These guys, they drop shards of cloud stone, which is quite nice of them. Not that we'll need it. Anyway, we get the Grey Demon Soul for killing Vanguard there. Come down here, be aware that there is a trap. There we go, to the left. And for some reason, those arrows don't set this trap off. That doesn't make much sense to me. But there we go. We kill him. There's one facing us there, so we're probably not going to be able to backstab him. Uh, let's take a bit of health off, though. Uh, let, let's take <laughs> a bit of health off, though. There we go. And we can keep going. I don't believe we can open this just yet. Or can we? No, we can't. We need to get a key. Oh, there's a merchant in there. It's Grave Rob Oblige. And we'll free him. He's not a, he's not a bad guy, really. Um, this path... This path... <laughs> this path... Is, is going to reveal some skeletons to us. There's one up here as well. And you might recognise this. Uh, this just leads us up to where we were last time we played through this, uh, this first part of this world. It leads us up to where we got the bow and arrow from. And also to Sparkly the Crow. Uh, I might do some trading with Sparkly, but I'll probably do that off camera because it's just, it's a lot of faffing about with quitting and reloading, and I don't really want to bother you guys with that. And let's head this way. We could actually have gone another way then. Uh, you can. You can head down this way. There's some items here. Actually, no, you can't head down that way. You can just grab this item. Two shards of cloud stone. If you were the Thief's Ring, these things that fly in the air, they do have a harder time uh, tracking you and hitting you. So, you know, that's something to bear in mind if you're getting annoyed by them. Stick on the Thief's Ring and you're far less likely to be hit uh, because there are, there's a point that we'll come to a bit later where that can be very, very irritating. Uh, pick up the Uchi Katana there. You know, nice, powerful dexterity weapon. Lots and lots of people seem to use that in this game. One of the more popular weapons. In fact, possibly one of the most popular weapons, apart from you know, one or two of the other Katana types. Uh, which I should be able to show you. Why can't I hit him? There we go. Okay, uh, there's more here though. There's that guy there. The black skeleton that breathes fire. And we're going to take him on. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't we? In fact, let's get a bit prepared. Let's do this. Let's put on... Soul Remains. Those Soul Remains will attract uh, the skeleton... in a way that we could never do. This guy does a lot of damage if he hits you and will take a lot of stamina off you with each hit. So having a shield with good, uh, good stability is going to be helpful here and 100% physical block. Unless you really do fancy your chances <laughs> parrying him. I wouldn't. But anyway, a couple of backstabs, a couple of regular shots, he's down. And he's crying about it. Just sticking the crescent moon on. I'm not sure why I'm sticking to this crescent moon, but it's nice to have. But you want to kill this guy so you can get the adjudicator's shield. Uh, it's, it's a big shield. It's not perfect, but it does regenerate health, and that's the main reason that you want to use that shield. You may come around here, stick to the left again, grab this soul while we're doing that, why not? 
there is a shortcut I should I could have shown you earlier. Um, but I will I will show it later. Sorry, I meant to say stick to this high path so you can grab this item here. Renowned hero soul, and down we go. My right, voice is getting a bit rough. I've done quite a bit of recording today. I'm gonna try and man up a bit though. Uh, this is the part where the thief's ring really helps because these guys will start shooting at you while you're fighting these guys. And these gold skeletons are not the people to be toyed with. Shit, that's annoying. Okay, let's uh Let's see if we can do something about that. That's really annoying that they shouldn't be able to see me. I mean, I'm, I'm soul form and I've got the thieves ring on. I should basically be invisible. Where was that dick? There. Now you're dead. I'm sure you regret ever starting shit with me. Oh, he's gone through the clouds. Okay. Right, gold skeleton. Yeah. Uh, on these cliff edges. Shit! What the fuck? Where the fuck are these guys coming from? <laughs> no! Okay, this is annoying. The thieves ring is now being more of a hindrance than a help because the gold skeleton's not chasing me like he should. Come on, I'll just stand. I'll just stand right here. I'm gonna wait for you. My back, my back turned as well. Okay, there. There we go. Right, you want him to you want to get him out here, just so you've got a bit more space to fight. Uh, because these guys, they hit hard. Like quite how I <laughs> managed to dodge one of those attacks then I don't know. Yeah, that was annoying. I hate those gold skeletons. Even more, because they're nearly always on these cliff edges. Uh, and also, nearly always with these stupid fucking flying things that... Uh, is that... was it you? Was it you? You dick. Any drops? Yes. Okay, well that, that sort of makes up for it. Not that I want the Cloudstone, but it's always nice to get a drop. Couple more skeletons. Let's get him to take care of that, why not? And let's... strong attack, yeah. Some soul remains, these guys, I think they can drop other things. The soul remain is the most likely thing you're gonna get off them. This, they, they hold their sword up in front of them um, to block attacks and it does actually block a surprising amount of damage so don't just keep attacking them when they've got it up. I wonder if he's going to come for me this time. No, he's not. Okay. There we go. It's him down. Oh, nearly at the end, actually. Oh, you son of a bitch. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go through the fog gate. And we'll grab the items of here first. Uh, late moon grass. I get a bit of a tricky one. Well, it can be tricky. Out to here, and up the path. Get the Grave Robber's Ring. Now, I believe the Grave Robber's Ring makes you harder to detect by Black Phantoms. So that is actually very helpful to have. Now, be careful around here, because there is a gold crystal uh, lizard out there. Okay. Wait to see where it goes. It's going to go there. However, it's not going to disappear because I didn't chase it. There we go. It's dead and it's not fallen off. Thank God for that. Yeah, just do be careful with that one. You know, you can obviously run to your death. And that's, that's just that's something you probably will want to avoid. And we come up here and we grab the regenerator's ring. And that also will regenerate health for us. So that's two items. Two items in one level that will regenerate health, and they will stack as well. So you get a nice bit of health regeneration from the two of them there. 
Uh, I would generally use the ring over the shield. But both of them, both, I've used both of them before. And there is a final thing that you can get health regeneration off in this. Uh, you can make blessed weapons. And they will regenerate health for you. But anyway. Uh, one last Black Phantom. You don't have to fight this guy. And generally, I actually don't fight him. Just get him to come after you. Run past him. And in through the fog gate to the boss. Uh, we come and see the boss in a second. But we've got to make our way quickly down to him. Because he is going to try and do terrible things to us. Anyway, this guy, uh, you're basically just moving around him. And attacking where this sword is. So just keep going around. You can tell you're hitting the right place because blood will come out. And there we go, right. Once he goes down, two-hand your weapon. Attack as much as you can. If you can get off half his health, then that's perfect. Uh, get him to back off a bit. More likely than not, he will one-hit kill you, unless you're very cautious here. Uh, but you want him sort of in the middle, so you can strafe all the way around him. See, that wasn't even with his sword, and he took off a lot of health there. But it does give us time to heal up if he misses again. Now your weapon, you can tell if you're not hitting him properly because your weapon will just sort of bounce off him. You can, you can two-hand at this point. However, I generally wouldn't. Just in case you can block a hit. Because he does a lot of damage if he uh, if he can lay his fingers on you. It pays to be careful. Anyway, still read Soldier's Soul. Uh, 11,700 souls for killing him. A couple of items we missed on our way down. You want to rush down, because he will lick out the... <laughs> he will lick out those platforms like nobody's business. Possibly just that one item, actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. No problem. And let's just grab the swollen demon soul. And we'll return to the Nexus. Now, there, there is a shortcut I could have shown you in that world. However, I wanted to show you as much as I could. And I, I did forget to show you Gra Grave Rob Oblige, or at least me freeing him. Uh, so I may have to go back and do all that at another point, but not for now. We will heal, uh, not heal up. We'll level up. Uh, 15 vitality will do us for now. Let's get one more endurance, and we'll get two dexterity. There we go. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm done. Uh, I'm done, and I think. Oh, I want to go back in, but I can't. I think what we're gonna do next, guys is actually we're gonna go and take on world 2-2 try and take on uh the flame lurker hope you're looking forward to it and i'll see you then